the Kanban view. Now, if you navigate to your to-do list over here, you'll notice that you can then uh, choose to see uh, your to-do list as a list view, as we have it here, as well as uh, the Kanban view. Now, the Kanban view uh, consists of different task cards that can be dragged and dropped into these different categories. These categories can be changed in the system setup, um, both their name and their color. And um, of course, once you drag a, a task card into one of these silos, you can then uh, tell other people uh, what progress or what um, uh, phase you're in uh, within the task. So this task has been assigned to me. From here, I can see the number of hours I've used so far, how many hours I was booked, my deadline. If I click again, I can then see the last comment that was made on this particular task in the conversation. And if I click the task name here, the task card will then open in which I can um, input uh, a new comment to the conversation. I can see the task briefing, what it is that I need to do. I can uh, access the files and doc the documents that we've saved on this particular task. So I have a lot of information here available to me. When I'm ready to start working on the task, I can then either right click here to start and stop the timer. And uh, I can also just create a manual time entry. It will pop up and ask me for how many hours I wanna record. And then finally, I can mark the task as done. Personally, I like this particular uh, view up here, the task details view, in which I can then input my time and um, my comment to my time entry, and then just input the number of hours that I wanna record, and then I can click save. That of course ends up as, a, um, as an item or um, uh, a, a time entry in my timesheet.